What's up? I am back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of key events in JavaFX. These are the key press, key release, and the key type event in JavaFX. Let's get started. Here at the scene builder, I have a text field and I define the variables of the key event. So what to do next is to make the code. So the use of the key press is, um, let's say, when you press something on the keyboard, it will display a message. And the key release is, when you press and release it, it will display a message. Like this, says out, and hello. And run the program. Okay, when I press something on the keyboard, it will display the hello on the console. Alright, so let's use the on-screen keyboard. On-screen to test it. Let's say T and then it displayed the hello on the console. Alright, let's close this and let's try the key release as out and hello and run the program. Okay, when I press the key on the keyboard and release, it will display on the console. So let's try the on screen keyboard pressed and release it will display the hello on the console all right so let's make something interesting so let's comment this and at the key pressed uh, let's define a string and type equals event that get event type that get name Key code is equals to event that get code and let's import the key code all right as out let's print the key event type space and then um the code and also the code key code all right so let's run the program if i press something on the keyboard it will display the key type and the code so let's say for example d it will display the key press type and the code D so K E Y that's it that's how you use the key code and the get event type on JavaFX key events comment this and let's make something new on the key type let's say for example if I type a letter on the keyboard on the text field it will print the letter on the text field um, if I type a number it will consume the event so how to do that Let's say string str is equals to event that get character and we need an ant length is equals to str that get that length and a for loop 
for int i is equals zero and then i is less than length i increment and we need the character c is equals to string the car add i and we need to implement a f statement here f not character s letter c and then event that consume so if we type a number in the text field it won't display the number on the text field so let's say key and let's type a number it won't display number here because we consume the event it if we type a number not a character so that's it that's how you filter the event next is the key released so if we enter the enter key on the keyboard then it will display a message let's try this out so if event that get key code and that get code is equals to event that get code that enter s out mm, hello let's run the program so here if I'm going to press the enter key on the keyboard and release it it will display the hello how about display the hello on the text field so I will use the variable text field and set text hello how about this I'm going to print the <clears throat> enter code as out event that get code okay if I press the enter key and release it it will display hello here and the enter code and print the hello in the text field that's it all right so I hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will see you in the next video